Welcome to me drawing my life. Right here is me. My mom. And my dad. Here's me as a baby. So me and my mom or dad were pretty happy whenever we were whenever I was first born. My dad was not there whenever I was born. So only what the one was there was my mom. Basically. I just gotta like set to that. Okay. So I when I was a baby I was I look pretty cool, I guess. My mom said I looked pretty darn cute. So here's me. I'm around my little baby costume. You can see it. Should focus. There you go. Okay, and so what happened then? My dad, my dad was going to be coming to see me and well... He sort of was driving a car, I guess. And what what happened was, well, he ended up dying, which is sort of sad. Well, yeah, he he died. I'm really sorry, but he's dead. But he had died, ended up dying in a car crash. He was going. He was going to see me. He's really really happy. And he ended up looking like this afterwards. But he didn't get to see me. But what happened just after was um, my mom I had a new dad. He had long black hair, just like I do. He was my stepdad. He was pretty darn happy. And well, what happened after... My mom sort of got, my mom and dad really got in fights. It made my mom really sad. Basically, like, they would either, like, punch each other. Like, it was like a boxing ring, basically. Like, they would always, like, fight. They would always, like, always fight. For, like, for a long time until my dad, basically, my new dad, well, my stepdad, started, like, choking my mo mom. He, he was, like, sweating. I was there. I was there. He, like, he, he my mom, my, my dad, basically, um, was choking my mom. But she didn't die. What, and... She didn't die, but what she do, did do after that on her neck, she would always wear these, well, little colors that was like for dogs. It was like black leather, and they would always like have this spikes on them, and she always wear that for, for now on. And so, so I was starting to grow up and my mom had to send me to a new place with my grandma and grandpa. I was still a baby and I didn't know what to do. Back then I got like a lot of scratch marks and bruises because well my dad was still very mean. So whenever I grew up my grandma and grandpa, grandpa my grandma always likes to wear buns or braids. But, and my grandpa was always like long haired, like this. He would always wear glasses. My grandma doesn't have glasses. And so they, they were pretty happy. I was happy with them. But whenever I, I was like very, very small. So I didn't really understand what was going on. But as I grew older, I started to feel shame. And I also started to feel sad. I also started to feel depressed. And I had lost of happiness. I 
I had loss of, of, well, temperature. So I would like, I'd be feel, and also I started to, I also started to have AD, H, D. I started to have ADHD and also bipolar. That was the most thing. So I was very bipolar and I couldn't control my anger, which always made me. But as I grew older, it always started to make me feel worse and worse. I always started like to cry always and I always like committed, almost tried to commit suicide. And I was very sad. And you guys probably didn't know. I felt like, I felt like I just wanted to do. I just put, one time at school, when I was little, I poked scissors to my heart and said, I was gonna die. But, there was one thing, one last thing left. Well, there was only one thing left, and my mom and me had stuff on the cell phone. We got to talk. I, I always felt like this one hope that I could actually talk to my mom. And I would actually talk to my mom for hours and hours and hours on the phone. So the phone would finally die and I would start crying again. But it was my only chance of happiness right there. So right before my mom left, she gave me something called a cell phone. Which was the one thing that gave me happiness. So I, was, I always had the cell phone that I would always play. I play Minecraft. I'd always play stuff like other games too, like Angry Birds. Stuff like Angry Birds and always those games that always made me feel just a tiny bit of happiness. It always made me feel funny and I always got this thing for YouTube. I always wanted to be a YouTuber. I was also practicing and getting a little bit mature each time. I didn't want to be too crazy. I was already starting to get psycho. But YouTube and video games were the only ones making my me feel better. So as I grew up, I always wanted a PlayStation. Which I got right now. I always wanted a PlayStation or Xbox or or a DS. And also my mom also gave me a DS, a Nintendo DS when I was little and that's where I got my favorite thing to do. And that was Pokemon. Pokemon saved my life. My very first game, as you guys could tell, guess what my favorite Pokemon was? Everybody knows it's already Victini, but Victini came in black and white. Black and white, but whatever. I spelled it wrong anyway. I know how to spell it, <laughs> but black and white. So that was my very first game that I had and I fell complete love with it. I loved, uh, my character was basically a girl and she, and it was, I know it was pixeled but I just enjoyed it so much. My very first Pokemon was Tapig. It was black, it was black and white too and I always loved it. I always made me happy. And then I started watching videos like Smosh, 
PewDiePie until my mom called me and said, why you watch that? That's too inappropriate. My grandma have said she was going to slap PewDiePie right in the freaking mouth, but I was like, no, too cool. I always wanted to be a YouTuber because it always made me happy just to watch him. I would always like, I always like those YouTubers that would either play video games because that's what I, it really made me happy the most. Because I just really liked it. I had imagine. Also, I had imagination. I just got this thing with drawing. I always loved drawing. Drawing cool little pictures. And that always made me sort of happy. I always really liked it. Peop most people, Most people at school would be like, most people actually had a fascinated, it was in my drawings, and um, if you want to see my drawings over here, I drew that Gengar, that teeny, my mom drew that, here's all of the cool drawings I made, and well, here we go, back to the story, and so I was like, I was always fascinated in drawings too. Kids were always telling me to draw pictures for them, and I had I didn't have that much time, and I was always on an early bus at school, which I only had a time limit to three o'clock, and it always made me sort of sad that I had to leave that early because, well, it always made me sort of happy too, because I always got relief, because I mostly enjoyed playing on my phone. That phone right there, and the phone I'm playing on right, that I'm recording with right now, made me so happy I could almost burst. And most of the time, um, I really, really, really enjoyed this one thing, and I always loved video games for the reason that that they were just pretty fun, I guess. And I'm also, and I was always like dreaming. For like, I was also dreaming for like cool stuff like video games and like I always wanted PlayStation or Xbox, like I said. But without you guys, you guys are my only chance of happiness that I have right now. Or else, like, but if you guys weren't there and no one was watching my videos, I swear. But I, but YouTube still makes me super happy. Just to be on it, I, I every single time I'm on YouTube, it's like a crying relief of happiness always. So to let you guys know, I hope you guys make my like my heart grow each times bigger every time I get a friend or anyone. I mean, my life is just crazy. But now, my mom has matured a lot, and I, she actually gets to come see me now, and it always makes me just so happy. We actually get to go places, and also with my best friend Jenna, 